Adrian Brewer feel over at two o'clock today? Does he need to clarify something? Oh, I don't know. Um, what I do know is that as we're obliged to understanding orders, we have communicated with the Speaker that Mika Whaitere is no longer a member of the Labor Party. So we've done that, but I'm not sure what the Speaker... Should he just release her resignation letter or no letter or whatever he received from her? That's entirely up to him. There's been some rumours circulating that you spent almost half the day yesterday, or let me rephrase that. People are saying that um, yesterday you spent half the day at the Speaker's office trying to figure out this issue. Is that correct? You should spend less time reading right-wing blogs, Jason. Well, no. uh, well, so you weren't at the Speaker's office yesterday. You didn't spend time on this issue. You weren't trying to influence that's, the Speaker's That's decision. not what you asked. Um, yes, I went to the Clerk's office yesterday as the Leader of the House to clarify the implications of Mika Fidery's decision. And yes, we informed the Speaker that we weren't invoking the Walker Jumping Law. Stop reading right-wing blogs. Did you, did you have any other conversations with the Speaker? No, other than advising him that we weren't going to invoke the Walker Jumping Law. So he didn't tell you anything about what Mika may or may not have said to him? No. As Leader of the House, how many pieces of correspondence do you understand went to the Speaker on the topic of I heard what the Speaker said in the House yesterday and he talked about an email about voting. That's what I heard him say, but I don't have any information beyond that. It's a matter for the Speaker. The Walker Jumping Bill was expressly introduced to prevent things like this happening, MPs jumping between parties. Is it ridiculous now? Is, I mean, is it a farce? Well, the, um, look, the Walker Jumping everyone knows the history of how we've ended up with the Walker Jumping Law. Uh, effectively, Section 55 is an opt-in. A political party can opt-in and an individual member of parliament can opt in. You might have your views on whether or not that is a good piece of law, but that is the law. It doesn't automatically apply if somebody leaves a political party. Either the party or the individual have to decide to do something. And as I say, you might, you might say that that's not a good piece of law. People may have that opinion. Dr Dean Knight said that um, under Standing Order 36, yep. the Māori Party might actually claim Mecca as their own. Would you want to her in that case? <laughs> no, um, that's not something we've given consideration to. We have no intention to use it. Are you any clearer as to her reasoning for why she's left? No. Have you talked to her? No. Have you talked to anyone? I don't know. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.